Yeah, Kareem, just uh, what's the mindset going into the night knowing that you have no quarterbacks and <laughs> essentially you're going to have to play a perfect game to have any chance here? Uh, I mean, defensively, you know, for us, we just, just kept saying, I mean, just, just got to go play ball. I mean, obviously – situation you know a tough situation going into the game no quarterback um obviously we didn't know what was going to happen offensively what they was going to do so i mean we just have to you know uh just focus on what we can do defensively and that's you know go out and execute you know do it all we can do um on our side then, of the ball and then following up when did you find out that uh, the qbs weren't going to be able to play and what was your reaction there um i think Saturday, we had our uh, walkthrough when the guys got pulled off the field. Uh, I think I was the last one out of the locker room, and Drew came back in and, you know, just kind of telling me what the deal and saying that they possibly wouldn't be able to play. So, um, obviously, um, I'm not really sure, you know, uh, the protocols as far as, far as you know, um, any team, you know, not having a quarterback under the uh, circumstances in the situation. Uh, you no, know, early in the year, you know, our game got pushed back. I mean, obviously, it may have been uh, different circumstances, but I just feel like, um, I mean, we wasn't given that same opportunity as far as you know pushing our game back or delaying or anything like that. So I'm not sure what we could what could have happened. But just going into the game, I mean, it's a tough situation. At the end of the day, man, I'm proud of the guys for going out. Uh, Kendall stepping in and, and, you know, being asked to, to play quarterback was definitely a huge task on him, his shoulder, uh, his shoulders offensively. Um, but at the end of the day, man, we went out, we played, and just got to put this one behind us. Hey, Kareem, with this situation, is your disappointment geared more toward the league for their decision or the quarterbacks for maybe their negligence? Um, I guess, I mean, for me, you know, um, I'm not really disappointed in, you know, um, you know, our guys, you know, the quarterbacks, um, I mean, I know, uh, the, the protocols have picked up a little bit, um, I mean, and, you know, and, 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 and wearing that mask in meeting room, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis definitely, you know, become irritating, you know, but obviously we could, we got to do what we have to do, you know, uh, but at the same time, I just, you know, I, I just feel like going into the game, we weren't, we wasn't given a chance. Um, like I said, early in the year, we had a game get pushed back, you know, uh, about a week taken. And, you know, to have to continue to, to play this game and, and, you know, not not being given a chance to at least, you know, figure things out as far as our quarterback situation, you know, uh, that was definitely disappointing. But, um, I mean, I, I, at the same time, we still got to follow the protocols. We got to do what we have to do, you know, to keep guys safe. So, um I mean, definitely uh, um, was tough, you know, on, um, when it comes to that. Thanks, Roberto. I mean, you guys are off the next two days now by league rule. So does that make it easier or harder to put this behind you guys? And how do you put it behind you, especially with the Chiefs on the horizon, knowing how good they are, how tough that'll be? Um, I don't think it's hard. Um, for me, <laughs> when I leave the locker room, I'm definitely forgetting about this one. Um, but, um, I mean, I think we got a great group of guys that can definitely put this one behind them and just got to move on to next week. We got a tough task coming up, you know, um, going to uh, Kansas City Sunday night. So, you know, uh, just got to uh, have a great week of practice and, and move forward. Thanks, one, Jeff. Uh, Kareem, do you, do you think the game should have been moved and do you feel like you have an explanation of why it wasn't? Uh, I definitely don't have an explanation. Um, I feel like, you know, um, I mean, maybe it could have been moved, but at the same time, maybe, you know, the league, you know, just, just make an example of us as far as, you know, us not doing the things we needed to do in that particular room, in that quarterback room, obviously guys didn't follow their protocol. So for them to see that, I guess they, you know, felt like they had to, um, uh, make an example. So at the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Just gotta just keep pressing forward as a team. Yeah, time for a few more for Mark. Yeah, yeah, you you answered part of it, a large part of it, right there. Uh, I was gonna ask you exactly what fans have been asking me for the last twenty four hours. Why did they make you play this game? And as a competitor, 
how tough is it to know you walk out on that field and you have very little chance of winning the game or or or, or you're put at, you're put at the great disadvantage at the very least yeah i mean it's t it's tough because you know week in and week out we prepare to go out and you know it, we want to give ourselves a chance, you know, obviously that's what practice is for, you know, for us to go out and to practice and the scheme and, you know, and to go into these games on the weekend and, and have confidence in what we've, you know, practice all week. But then we get put in a situation where, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's you know, our guys fault for not wearing their masks, but at the least maybe move the game to, you know, the next day or, or whenever, you know, um, just so, you know, we we're given a, a fighting chance, you know. Um, so it's obviously disappointing. You know, um, I, I, I'm i not sure why it wasn't, you know, move. I have no clue. I, I didn't ask any questions. And, you know, obviously nothing was told to us, just that we was going to go into the game without any quarterback. So, you know, as a competitor, it's definitely, definitely frustrating. But um, I think as a team, I mean, we went out, we did what we could. Final uh, one. Andrew and uh, Lindsey. Kareem, on, on any team, like it or not, quarterbacks are considered uh, leaders. So when you talk about them not uh, sticking to protocols, what does that do for the respect to their leadership when they come back in the room after all this? I don't think that does anything. Um, at the end of the day, we're still going to respect those guys as, as competitors and as our teammates. You know, uh, I mean – I definitely think they understand the situation that they put us in as a team with them not following the protocols. Um, I had a chance to talk with, you know, those guys earlier and, you know, obviously, you know, they feel bad for, for putting us in that situation, you know, um, as competitors, they want to be out here as well, you know, so for them not to not be able to come out and compete with us and obviously putting us in that situation as a team, those guys are definitely regretful, um, you know, about the situation, but um, I mean, you know, we, you know, those guys come back, we're going to welcome them back, you know, just the same as, you know, before the situation happened. I mean, uh, I think they feel, you know, bad. Well, you know, they're probably in the dumps more than we are for having to go out and play the game. I mean, so at the end of the day, you know, like I said, man, it's just another opportunity next weekend. Uh, just got to go have a great week of practice, you know, put this one behind us. Final one, Lizzie. Hey, Kareem, um, I'll just ask you one more about, about the game. What did you think of Taysom Hill and the game plan that the Saints put together, the way they tried to run the ball? And was there a moment that you felt like it maybe flipped? Maybe was it after that um, offsides call that allowed that long touchdown drive they had to continue? Um, yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like, you know, just, I mean, they executed what they wanted to do. Uh, they ran the ball on us. Um, uh, early on, I think we, we – came out we got some stops and um under the circumstances you know um i mean they obviously had a, a ton of opportunities to to kind of get going you know um that that all sides definitely hurt us um but i mean they they did what they wanted they did what they were supposed to do they came in they executed and they beat us simple as that